So now, let us work with liquid simulation inside of Cinema 4D with Collision. So in order to enable Collision, I'm just going to, uh, first of all, drag an object right here. So let us drag in something like a plane, which is going to be my Collision object. And over here, first of all, I'm going to bring in Spear, which is what I'm going to turn it into liquid later on by using Metaball. So I'm just going to re uh, rescale this in size. I'm going to press NB so that I can see uh, the divisions right here. Let me just drag this up. And the sphere, I'm going to convert it into eight segments so that I don't have to work with details right over here. So now in order to uh, work around uh, with the a simulation of liquid, I'm going to bring in a simulate object. I'm going to bring in particle emitter right over here. So there's my emitter as you can see. So let me just rotate this around because I want the emitter to be facing this side just like that. So you can see on the emitter now, let me just turn over uh, this into a thousand frame right here. Let me expand everything out. And over here on to the emitter, I'm just going to uh, expand the emission up to 1000 frames just like this. So once I play this, you can see that it is 1000 frames right here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag in the spear onto the emitter right over here. And on emitter, I'm going to click on show object. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable collision on the plane. So I'm going to turn this into a collider object. I'm just going to right click on this. I'm going to go into a simulation tag and I'm going to turn this into a collider body. And then I'm going to take the spear. I'm going to right click on the spear right over here. So right click on the spear and I'm going to uh, add, an, um, add a simulation tag over here and convert this into a rigid body just like that. So I'm going to go into the beginning and if I were to play this, you can see that they all uh, start acting as a collision. So let me just uh, decrease the size of the spear right here. So I'm just going to decrease the size of the spear so it is not very big. So I'm just going to change the animation, uh, let me say space over here as well. So let me just press the play button right here so that it actually comes up just like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, enable Metaball onto this emitter. So I'm going to go over here uh, just like this and I'm going to enable the Metaball so that it gives a liquid like effect. So I'm going to drag the emitter onto this and let us play it. You can see that you get a liquid like effect. So I'm going to go on to the emitter right over here and then I'm going to change its hull value. Let's see. So I get a liquid like effect just like that. And you can also increase around the subdivision right here to make it more liquid liquid like so I'm going to increase the render subdivision into something like 50 centimeter and press the play button and you can see that the liquid actually simulates us like that but you can see that once I play this the liquid actually goes through because the uh, engine is not being able to support it but once I pause it you can see that it actually looks like a real liquid and no problem is seen there. So I'm just going to uh, drag the metal ball up. So let me just drag the emitter up just like that. And I'm going to play this around just like this. So you can see that the emission is actually happening just like that. And once I press the pause button, it actually flows around. So I do actually need to render this out to make it seem as if it is a liquid. So I'm going to render this out. So I'm going to go into the render setting right over here. So I'm going to render it as standard pixel right over here and on the preset let me just uh, select something small so that it renders actually quite fast just like this so i'm going to save it around as a jpz uh, sequence right over here and over here let me just go over here onto the output i'm going to uh, render it from frame zero to let's say frame five uh, not 500 let me say frame 300 right over here just like this so i'm going to go over uh, onto the same option right here and on the file, I'm going to create one file in my desktop. So I'm going to go over here onto my desktop. I'm going to create new file uh, and name it uh, liquid with collision. And then I'm just going to go over here and save this around. So I'm going to save this around as liquid, just like this, and save it around. So once everything is done, I'm going to render this. So I'm going to press the uh, render button right here and it'll render out everything as you can see. But let me just press escape. I'm going to stop it because like it is not very smooth as rendering as you can see right there. So I do want to increase, um, I mean, increase its uh, division right over here. So how value right over here. And then in emitter, I do want to add in a subdivision surface as well so that it actually uh, is much more smoother. So just drag it in over here. Let me just play this around. You can see that 
now that is how the liquid looks like just like that let me just render this out and see how this looks like so control r it actually looks like this so that's fine so now just render everything out i'm just going to delete uh, all of the files right here which is actually here as you can see so i'm just going to delete all out i'm going to render everything again so let's render this out again and let's see how everything looks like so you can see that the liquid is actually coming in just like this and everything is actually look, looking like a liquid just like that so it is actually uh, just like that liquid there you go so it is actually spilling in and it is colliding as you can see right over there so it is colliding just like that so it's colliding and it is looking like the liquid right over here so you can see that everything is working quite fine right here so you can change the liquid settings to get different level of effects as you can see and there you go so it is actually colliding and uh, the error that we saw over here is not actually taking place so let me just fast forward this and we're about to reach to the end just like that and you can see that they have been animated so all of them has been exported as you can see and if i were to actually play this you can see that this is how it looks i can uh, work around with the chains and then uh, work around with the settings right here but this is how you can uh, work around with the liquid the liquid in uh, that you simulate through cinema 4d is not very perfect you have to go to um, some other applications like real flow to actually make it more good but if you want to quickly get around with the liquid simulation then this is what you can use um, inside of cinema 4d so hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe